Thank you, viewers. The Colonel speaking to you live from the Grange British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. So an alien record. Look up. Look up for your redemption draweth nigh. Luke 21, verse 28. No, it's not me, viewers. It says so on the label. A sermonette, oh dear, by Principal George Jeffries, founder and leader of the Alien Foursquare Gospel Alliance. Yes, it's a gospel record, viewers, for your enjoyment. Don't all run at once. Here we go. Lift up your heads for your redemption draws night. This injunction, given by our Lord over 1900 years ago, was undoubtedly intended for the closing days of this dispensation. Who can discern the signs of the times without realizing its present day application? Who can read the time on the prophetic clock without seeing that the hour of complete redemption is about to strike? Nationally and internationally, all standards are being removed as unstable. Utopian ideals are passing away as vapors. Civilization is everywhere breaking up, and the world is drifting into a time of indescribable tribulation. Prophecies which fell from the sacred lips of Christ have been translated into history before our very eyes. For nation is rising against nation, kingdom against kingdom, there are wars and rumors of wars, and the whole world is as an armed camp. We are most assuredly living in this inevitable darkest hour that precedes the glorious advent dawn. While nations are preparing on a colossal scale for war, the cry of peace and safety is being sounded forth throughout the world. In this again, prophecy is being fulfilled for, says the sacred scripture, the day shall come when they shall preach peace and safety, when sudden destruction shall come upon them. How little do the people understand that there can be no peace apart from Christ and no safety outside his pavilion. In the religious world, Christendom is revealing the malignant growths of higher criticism and modernism and the unmistakable latter-day sign of the falling away from the faith is glaringly revealed. These are but a few of the dark signs of the end of the age. As we see these things coming to pass, it is with consolation that we obey the command of our Lord to look up. We do not look out, for our hope is not centered on anything or anyone around us. The outlook is dark indeed. Our hope is centered in the coming Christ. Therefore, we gladly look up, for the uplook is exceedingly glorious. There is a sign of quite another character. It is the worldwide outpouring of the Holy Spirit with supernatural signs that tens of thousands of born-again people are experiencing in every country under the canopy of heaven. In fulfillment of prophecy given in both the Old and New Testaments, God is pouring out His Spirit. Believers are everywhere receiving the Holy Spirit as the disciples did on the day of Pentecost. Miracles of healing, just as marvelous as those recorded in the Acts of the Apostles, are taking place in every land, for the miraculous gifts are in evidence today, just as they were in the first days of Christianity. In fulfillment of scriptural prophecy, the showers of latter rain are falling upon the thirsty. And the true church, which consists of all who are born again, is being prepared for the imminent return of her Lord. Well, that told us, didn't it, viewers? And that was in 1930-odd that was made, that record. Thank you, viewers, and goodbye.